All right, this is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today we have something that's really essential for use around the garden here and hopefully maybe in your garden or hopefully soon to be in your garden. These are just basic five gallon, actually I think this one's a seven gallon bucket. So these are being reused. I actually got these for free at a local um, health food store that gets shipments in bulk and then they sell these items in bulk. So I don't know, this one may have had uh, some kind of nut butter or um, something like that or olives or you know different pickles different things so if you want to find these check with maybe like a local I don't know grocery store deli and I mean if you really need a bucket they sell them at Home Depot and Lowe's I don't recommend buying them I recommend trying to find them for free restaurants also you know oftentimes they just throw them out and these go to waste and these are so useful so let me show you today some of the ways that we use our reuse buckets so it's always better to reuse than recycle. So we're reusing. So the first thing is, as I'm sitting in this uh, bok choy bed, I could be leafing. So, you know, I got all these leaves now and, you know, I gotta do something with them. And instead of just dumping them on the ground, I'll put them in the bucket. Then I'll take this bucket over to the compost pile of the compost bin and dump them all in there. So uh, real handy for doing leafing, nice size, holds a lot. All right, so buckets come in all shapes and sizes. This actually happens to be a square bucket. It's kind of cool. And uh, let's see what we have inside here. Oh, there's dog food in this bucket. So uh, buckets are also woo, are good for um, storing dry goods. So whether you have you know dogs and store your dog uh, you know dry dog food, or even storing like your um, fertilizers, your dry fertilizers and other things like that. You know, put the lid on the bucket and it'll keep it watertight. So here's another good use for buckets. This happens to be a smaller bucket, I don't know, maybe a three gallon size. And what's good for hauling around materials. So, you know, from compost, if we're moving compost from the pile to like, a, you know, a raised bed, or actually we have all our rock dust in here so we could easily take this out to the front bed and shake it around to, you know, distribute the rock dust to moving stones and rocks. Really nice. Buckets come in really handy. They're nice and stable and they could actually hold a lot of weight so here's another use of bucket so you know we got this cutting or actually we didn't take the cutting it actually the wind blew it down because we didn't um tie it up and stake it well enough it wasn't tied up so it actually fell down in the wind and um we could basically you could put uh, you know some water in the bucket and put the plant in there and it's not gonna like live in there for a long time but it'll keep it alive much like cut flowers like that and actually if you have a willow tree and i used to have a willow tree here you could actually take willow branches and put them in the water with the branches in the, the cuttings from the you know end of the branches put it in the water and actually make your own rooting hormone because willow has willow uh, tips and leaves have a rooting compound naturally occurring in there mix it in with the water and then you can make your own rooting compound in your five gallon bucket all right another excellent use of buckets and we do this all the time is for mixing so we make our own planting mix here. We use uh, basically uh, half perlite and half peat moss, and then we add some compost in there too, some good finished compost to make our own planting mix. And we'll mix that either in a bucket if we're making a small amount, and then actually once it's mixed in the bucket, we could put a lid on it and then save it so next time we need it, it's there. Or sometimes we'll use a wheelbarrow if we're making a lot larger quantities as well. So even mixing, you know, if you have a little bit of concrete to mix up, you could mix it up in a bucket. Just make sure you clean it really well after you're done. So today I have a unique problem. I want to harvest some of my tree kale that's on the top. I don't want these bottom leaves, but they really all taste good. So I really want these top leaves. How am I going to get up there? Well, hey, I have this cool five gallon bucket. Wait, wait, I can't stand on this side. That won't make me any taller. I know I can turn it over and these things probably hold, I don't know, at least 150 pounds, maybe 200, maybe more. Wow, look at that, I can harvest my tree kale now because I'm much taller. So yeah, you could always use a bucket as a step stool to make you taller so you could harvest your fruit or leaves that's really high up. All right, another great use for buckets is actually if you have them you know, near your shed or in your garage, you could actually put the tools you need. So I have a couple different tools in here and you could take it out to work on your project. So if I'm going out to the front yard and gonna work on some of the beds, I could take this out to the front bed and then I don't have to have my tools all spread out I could just neatly put them back in here and then when I come back I'll take them back to the shed and uh, put them away so uh, easy to transport your tools great use for buckets what do these two have in common we got this big 35 gallon drum that basically collects the rainwater off of my 
roof comes down to this diverter and then it fills up right here and I did do an episode on that so if you're interested you could check that out and see how we did it but what does this and this have in common they could both catch rainwater so even if you don't have a setup like this and probably for a bucket you don't even need something elaborate as this you could literally just put this bucket out in the middle of your yard and let it catch rainwater and oftentimes we don't do this on purpose here but we leave buckets out and they just fill up with rainwater and then we use that rainwater to water our plants. So you could catch rainwater with five gallon buckets. All right, so we're in the greenhouse here and another great use of buckets is use them as pots. Oh, this thing's so heavy. So if you drill some holes in the bottom here for drainage, you could plant things in here. So actually I think we got a carrot coming up in here. And you know, I don't know if we planted that in there or not. And some, uh, I think some collards that are uh, going to seed there. But yeah, use plants for buckets. You know, I'll do another episode on, you know, showing you actually planting plants in the buckets. But generally, you could do like one tomato plant per five, you know, gallon bucket, one zucchini plant. You could probably do a couple cucumber plants, but make sure you put a trellis on there or, you know, a bunch of uh, peas. Uh, let's see, what else? Basically, you could plant most things in a bucket. All right, another use of the buckets, that's if you have the lid actually attached. You could pre-mix, you know, your different fertilizers, make compost tea. This one's actually storing our um, soy seal. So this is the uh, treatment, the natural treatment we put on the wood that's non-toxic. And actually it came in here. Then after, after we're done using this as the uh, liquid, we're going to reuse this bucket. Yet another bucket and another use. So this bucket was actually sitting on the side over there. And um, it just was holding all these things. So we got some... Uh, Basically sprayers, waterers, stakes, and my old sprinklers that we took out of the front yard when I used to have a lawn. But it's good for categorizing and putting things in order. And then when you need to transport them, makes it really easy to do that too. So here's a lesson we learned firsthand at Growing Your Greens. Um, when storing your buckets, make sure they're completely clean and with no soil or mud or anything in, in there. And they're also dry and then you're going to store them together. And then don't stand on this and push them together harder, uh, you know, because they will get stuck. All right. I just thought of another good use for buckets. This is the bucket in my house, actually, that stays in my kitchen next to uh, my recycling and garbage can. It's another bucket with a lid on it. So let's check out what's in there. Ah, it's a bucket full of food scraps and compost. It's going to go outside in the compost pile. Another excellent use of buckets. Everybody should have a five gallon bucket for their food scraps to take out for their compost pile. But make sure you put the lid on because if you don't, it's going to smell kind of funky and I usually wash it out every week. All right, great use of buckets. So one of the things I want to talk about too is, you know, when you f get the buckets, when you obtain the buckets, hopefully they've only contained like food grade materials. So, you know, some buckets may have had industrial oils and all kinds of nasty stuff that we don't want to be bringing into our garden. So if you get those kinds of ones, maybe only use those for like the non-gardening type things like toting your tools around and things like that and make sure they're clean. So I hope you've learned more about using buckets in the garden today. Uh, this is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. This is what happens if you don't store your buckets properly. So check out. All right, here at Growing Your Greens, we have lots of fun too. Here's the gardeners uh, working on getting some five-gallon uh, pots out. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it is. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. We got it's coming, right? Or no? Am I just thinking it's coming? That's what I tried oh, last wow. time, and I mean, Sage. Literally, I've been trying that for weeks. I mean, this is like, how much do you think we could pull, man? Not very much, man. <laughs> the hardest part of gardening. This is it, right? Here. <laughs> First thing I can actually hang on it. <laughs> use your body weight. Oh, use the arbor, man. Oh, yes. Yes. Dude, I want to hang on. Wait, who weighs more? I'll hang on it and then if, if I'm not then, then John then can I'll, hang, I'll, on I'll, I'll hang on you. I'll hang on you. Yeah, there you go.
Yeah, oh, man. This is that kind? Should I hang on you, man? I don't think this is gonna work. Insane. I don't think my fingers could take it. Oh wait. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> oh, it's because it's muddy in there. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hang on there, man. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, and then there were two. <laughs> and then there were two. Yes, just like a, a Russian, oh, a Russian egg doll. <laughs> Right, so there you have it. We got the barrels unstuck. It took three people. How many pe how many gardeners does it take to get barrels unstuck? <laughs> three. <laughs>